This video is to show how to use Illustrator to uh, hand trace a photograph. Uh, first, in Illustrator, I'm going to go to File, Place, and select a photograph, uh, in this case of an animal, to trace. And I place it uh, on, on a layer, and I want to put another layer on top of it, just so that uh, I don't mess with that layer. I'm going to lock that layer. So now I'm going to be working on the layer above it. And this is basically how you do it. Um, I'm just going to work on this, this area, the ear. Uh, if you use the pencil tool, you can find it here. It's, it usually has this um, sharper tool, tool on top of it. If you double tap, you can find the pencil tool. And I've made it so that uh, this is the... Uh, it'll just make a stroke rather than filling it in with a, a solid color. Well, first of all, I look at a, look at a shape here, and, and it has an overall color of, of a gray color. It has a dark, and it has a light, and it has a gray color. So I'm going to draw all three. But first, I'm going to just do the whole shape of the ear, you know, and just roughly draw it by just tracing it with my finger here. And it just put a black line around it. All right, for, for now, that's fine. I'll just leave it, leave it like that. Now I'm going to draw the, uh, the blacks. So if I just, you know, make a, a rough uh, sketch of the black. The finger's not work, working very well here on the, on the thing, but I could go back and fix it. Okay, we'll call that the blacks. Um, go back to the pencil, maybe draw a little bit of this area here. And that'll be another black shape. Then I have a light shape here. Um, quickly sketch that in. It doesn't matter that it's not perfect. All right, so so now I have the the, the light's drawn in and the dark's drawn in. I'm going to use the uh, eyedropper tool. And I'll use, if I hold down the uh, command key, I can select a shape. And if I put the eyedropper sort of in the middle of the area, it will make that area, that color, whatever pixel I happen to choose. Do that for this one. And for the black here, I'll pick a black. And for this black shape here, I'll pick that black, and for the overall shape, I'll pick a gray, like that gray. You know, maybe that was too too dark. Maybe I'll pick that that gray. Okay, so that's the basically how you do it. You could you could do it with uh, more levels of gray if you wanted to draw each one and, and get it closer and closer to the photo. But for 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 this purpose, you could do the whole deer with this look, and the overall look would look like an illustration. But it would also have a kind of photographic look because it's you followed the photograph, you know you just follow the shapes of each each shadow, each highlight, each you know each shape that you can see with it has an overall average color. And when when you're finished, you'll have you'll have a an illustration and and how you choose to draw your shapes. Well, that's going to be your style. I mean, one person might draw this shape a different way than another, and you might you want to might want to put every little, you know, detail. You want to want to add a little extra details or whatever when you when you're making your drawing, uh, and you can go back and change it. You can stylize it in any way you want, but otherwise, uh, this is this is basically how you do it. 